everyone, it's me, Calamity, and recently a few people asked me how did I remove the pots from my plants in my plant house. So I decided I'm going to make a really quick little video to show you how. Um, it's actually easier than you would think. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to go into your uh, furniture tab and find a pot and place the pot where you want it. Um, Note that once you plant a plant, you cannot move the pot in any way, shape, form, or fashion with the plant in it. So make sure wherever you place it is where you want that plant to be. If you need to raise it to a different height, do so now. Because once you plant that seed, it's going to stay there. Okay. After you put your pot down, go ahead and find whatever seed you want to use. Um, let me go ahead and use just a frozen flytrap. And you're going to plant it just like normal, just like you would in a plot outside or when you regularly put a pot in your house, okay? All right, now your seed's planted and it's in a pot. Now I'm going to show you really quick how to remove that pot. It's really easy, okay? I like to use the tatami mats. Now if you want, you can use the small rugs. I actually take it out of my inventory and I'm going to set it down on the ground first. If you take it just straight out of your inventory, sometimes it doesn't grab the pot like it should so actually place it now you're gonna select the mat and you're gonna select move okay you're gonna move the mat so that it's between the pot and the dirt you see that and you'll see it it kind of sticks out and it's gonna glow red showing you nope you can't place it there that's where you want it okay now using the scroll wheel on your mouse rotate okay now normally you'd see the mat turn and it doesn't here and I'm not really sure why but it does. Now just if you move the mouse it's going to actually pick up that pot and take it with it. Okay, You can then set the mat down on the ground and then you can select the mat again and pick up. That's going to pick up both the mat and the pot and put it back in your inventory leaving a nice happy little seed right here. Where's it smile? There it is. Floating. Chico, get out of the way. See? My happy seed. Now, you can go ahead and you can take care of your plant just like you would normally. It's going to grow just fine. It's going to develop knees just fine. Uh, go ahead and select whatever you need. Up oh, there they are. And see? It'll give you the nice little green check mark showing you can take care of it just like normal. Um, if you want, you can decorate around them even. Uh, the reason you'd float seeds is so that you can actually make them interact with furniture. Um, and then they don't have a pot and they look nice and normal and see because it's floating you can actually put furniture right underneath them and make it look like it's sitting in a chair say hi little seed um, one thing to note with plants is they do tend to rotate you have no control over that so whenever you put a plant in a room you want to make sure it's view you can view it from multiple angles or make sure it's in a corner like fickle pickles will always turn away from you some plants will always face you just keep that in mind when you're decorating but that is how you remove the pot from a plant and how you make it look cool with furniture. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just leave them here and I'll try and answer them. Thanks and have a good one.